The dual court system in the United States, this dates back to the colonial times, we have basically two court systems in the United States. They're separate systems, each of them is independent of the executive and legislative branch of government, and each one is basically separated until they get to the Supreme Court. The state governments have their own laws, their own police, their own court system, so they create laws and then if somebody breaks a law, the police will arrest them, and then they go through the state courts. Courts of original jurisdiction are the trial courts, and these can be, you've heard, either superior or municipal courts. I hear most of the time they're municipal courts. And then you have Court of Appeals, which is an intermediate step, and then you have the state supreme courts. Now, the federal government has also their own laws, their own police, their own court system. So the federal laws is made by Congress. The federal police are the uh, FBI. Mostly, you can have the DEA, the ATF, and then we have federal court systems. We have 94 district courts, and then we have 12 court of appeals. So we divide the country into 12, and then these within the 12 district circuit courts, we have 94 district courts. Then we have the Supreme Court. Now, Congress has the ability to create legislative courts. Um, they're also called congressional courts. Uh, they're like the court of tax court, trade court, bankruptcy court. The judges have, uh, do not have life appointments. They can be for like 15 years, and um, it's really for a specific purpose. Now, the Supreme Court is the highest court of the land and rules over all the different systems. They'll hear original jurisdiction courts and then appeals courts from the circuit courts, from the state Supreme Courts, and special courts. So um, it gets confusing, like when you see double jeopardy or you see uh, was somebody guilty in one system then you send it to the other system to see if they can do that so like with Trayvon Martin uh, a lot of people wanted him tried in federal court as uh, the uh, George Zimmerman um, basically took away um, Trayvon Martin's civil rights so that would be a federal um, court versus the state court and we've seen you know with double jeopardy you can't be tried for the same crime twice this is kind of important. So this system uh, is very important. We have two court systems. You have to break two laws to get into the federal and the state, and normally you go into the court that is the strictest uh, for the penalties.